It's still alive! <laughs> Hi everybody, it's me, Aaron, and... Wait, sorry, still learning the basics of working a camera. Hi, it's me. It's Dan. I've grown a terrible quarantine mustache, um, but it can almost kind of curl up at the sides. It looks really nice. It's a disaster. Today, Aaron's going to teach us how to uh, fly. So I've been, what? Cook. What, I've been working on this recipe. Um, you know, I really love Taco Bell and I've been missing Taco Bell and I thought, hey, why don't I make something that's sort of like Taco Bell, but not really at home. So I made the AM Crunch Wrap without meat and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. It's easy, it's easy as one, two, three. And I'm gonna be working the camera and uh, check out what I can do. Eggs. <laughs> 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 No, 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 uh oh. No, no, no. Uh -oh. We need to focus. Okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Autofocus. Done. Nice. All right, so here's what you're going to need, baby. Um, you're going to need some tortillas. You're going to need some butter. I use Kerrygold because it's very good and it smells nice. Uh, you need some cheese. You do need cheese. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use some Cholula to give it that bite, you know? But I'm not gonna make it on Dan's because Dan doesn't like the spice. I have a sensitive juice stomach. Okay. <laughs> and then I've uh, prepared some little fingerling potatoes. Yeah, these are the ones that you dropped on the floor a lot. I was dropping them constantly. <laughs> and you need pans and stuff. Oh, you need eggs. Sure. No! <laughs> How crazy is this? Ah! Oh my god. Frick, I gotta go downstairs and get some chips. Okay, um, uh. I'll be right back. Uh, all right. Look at the size of this bag of pink grapefruit gummy bears. That is absurd. I'll try one right now. Hello. This is but one of the many thousands of pink grapefruit gummy Oh God. I had to make an offering to the Queldar in the basement. The Queldar? What's a Queldar? He's the, he's the keeper of the food. <laughs> But he gave me two bags of chips, so we're good. Two? Okay. Um, I forgot to say that you also need Ruffles, Cheddar, and Sour Cream. Mm hmm To have, to add the crunch. All right, let's, let's start making food. Yeah, dude. So I'm gonna cook the eggs first because I'm stupid. Okay. And that's probably not what I should be doing. Okay. Um, so I just take a little pat of butter and throw it in there. Mm. So we're gonna grease the pan with that. You see the butter start like bubbling, but not like burning, right? Mm, good advice. So the, the thing you wanna do to scramble the eggs is just like, once it starts, you're like, oh, this is warm, this is hot. You just start cracking them into the, and you'll get like a little cookage going on. Oh, that's a little different than my technique. But just crack them into the thing. I crack them into a bowl and then scramble the eggs in the bowl and then pour that scramble into it. Yeah, so that's that's gonna prevent the fluffage from happening, dude. You want the fluffage to happen as the yolk and the white are like separating and cooking independently. And I actually need... Don't you ever tell me that I'm... That's how I used to do it as a child. That I'm not bringing the proper fluffage. That's a children's way of making scrambled eggs. And I'm telling you the good adult's way of making scrambled eggs. I got some sour cream. Okay, sour cream. And it'll make the eggs super delightful. So then I go in and I boom, boom, boom the yolks. And then you just start gently folding and mixing, bro. Wow. Once you see it start solidifying, then you're gonna take it off. Oh, that take quick, it, huh? Take it off the heat. Well, because this this helps it when the cooling process helps it like fluff up. Really? Yeah. And then put it back on the heat. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not mixing in anything right now because it messes with the fluffage. Ah! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> now we can reduce the heat. And then I'm gonna put some sour cream in there. Sour cream? Yep. So look at that, it's a nice like creamy consistency going on. It's a nice scramble. So once this is completely solidified and it's become like its own form now, mm -hmm. uh, now you wanna start adding in the stuff that, that you're, for, in my case it's cheese, salt, and pepper. So I'm gonna throw some cheese in there, make it nice, mm. nice and cheesy, fold that in. Now when you apply the cheese, 
you just kind of sprinkle it around and then it melts in itself. Oh sure, but you gotta you gotta help it fold too, because you don't want to you want to keep the eggs moving or else it'll it'll become a solid thing. You'll know, have like an omelet situation. You mm. don't want that. Yeah, I can see I can see the cheesy strands mm -hmm. already oh, forming. Yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> Double up. <clears throat> um, you're gonna think I'm weird, but I have this uh, black Hawaiian sea salt. Okay. Then I'm gonna sprinkle on top and it's gonna look really strange. Wow, that does change the look for yeah. sure. So now we got this nice creamy and then it's got like these little speckles of, of like of like black. So now we got this, right? We got a low heat so it's not gonna solidify, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put crack a little bit of pepper. <laughs> so you said I'm gonna put crack. <laughs> I'm gonna just spray some crack in here. Man, these eggs are addictive. Oh, they're really good. So now we've put the pepper in. <laughs> Um, all right, so the eggs, those are prepared. I keep I'm, forgetting that I'm on camera, like. <laughs> As you're doing it, yeah. In, in the, oh yeah, in, no, in you're good. One. So I have to stop touching myself. <laughs> just, I, I keep just being like, mmm, yummy eggs. Like no one will see this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now that we have the eggs, I'm gonna make the hash browns. So okay. I'm gonna let these sit in a, on a low heat. So I'm gonna start this up. Okay. I'm gonna put it on high heat and throw a little olive oil on there. Aaron, you're like a master chef. Bro. When did you become this guy? Um, I'm always this guy. Have uh, you always been? I just don't share it with the public because this is my private time. Uh, <laughs> did you see my Pikachu? They're adorable. Just gonna crack some salt on top, maybe yep. a little pepper. And salt it with crack. Wait, is this pink Himalayan salt in here? Yes, it is. But the it's, exact it's, kind you said you didn't have it's any It's very thin. Deceiver! So, as you know, you want to flip the potatoes wildly across the kitchen. Can you do it? I'm scared. Do you know how? Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, Obviously not. Ah! 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 Oh! Okay, alright, well we, we lost a couple, but I'm just going to eat this one off the counter. You have to push them against the round edge. Okay. And then they naturally come up and then you just catch them. So Show like that. Oh, God, you're like a potato wizard. Dude, that's what people called me in high school and I hated it, so <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, while these are, while these are cooking, I'm gonna make the, um, the sauce. So for you, I'm just gonna give you mayonnaise, dude. Okay. People knock on mayonnaise because it's like, oh, it's just boring and it's gross. But it's delicious, man. It's made with eggs and other stuff. It's got salt in it, I think. Does it have salt in it? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if it has salt in it. Good. Very organic, Aaron. Thanks. Nice. Nicely done. Thanks, man. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, just trying to make the mayonnaise more exciting. <laughs> and then you just blip, 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 blip some Cholula on top. Mm. Then you just mix it up. Now we're going to tortilla it up, baby. Just take this little flat situation going on here, put a little tortilla on it mm. to heat up that tor tortilla. And since you're uh, you're the mayonnaise boy, you're the one who eats bland. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some mayonnaise on there. Put some eggs on it, man. Then I'm gonna put these little these little uh, these little potatoes on there. Haters gonna hate, potatoes gonna potate. <laughs> boy, that joke came a little late. I believe it's from 2011. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little outdated meme situation going on here. Well, outdater's gonna outdate. <laughs> oh! Then you just take some ruffles. This is the this is the finishing touch. You're out of your mind. You just crack them on top. And now, for the piece de resistance, just start folding it over, man. Okay. I, I got it a little too hot, so it's um, a little tough. Are you blowing it right now, Aaron? I'm, I'm blowing it a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I got it a little too crispy. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, and it's ready for the customers. Oh, did it get a little burned? Oh, it got burned. Yeah. Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I can just literally just dump all this onto another tortilla. How about that? Great. All right, yeah, there we go. Wow, look at that, it retains its form. Oh yeah, this is- Because you burnt it so bad. This is like a, like it's like a, a taco bowl now. You can just <laughs> pull whatever you want in there. Wow, I could just eat the bowl. And uh, great, ah, it's still hot. But it's, ah, mm, it's much easier this time around. How do they do it in Taco Bell? 
See, I don't understand. Because they're amazing tech engineers. <laughs> ah, tech. <laughs> ah! Ah! I need gloves. Maybe that's what they do. They wear gloves. Oh, it's Mochi. Hey, bud. Mochi. All right. And, uh, hey, bud. It's a little. <laughs> hey, buddy. Who's a good boy? He's be he's a good boy. Of course. He's the best boy. It's a rhetorical question. Ah. Buddy. What a handsome guy. All right. No. Uh, I've, uh -huh. I've contained Food. your crunch wrap. Ah. It's for you. Well, thank you, Aaron. Uh huh. All right, Dan. Let's see. Your reaction to my crunch wrap? Ah, it's so hot. It's hot. It's so hot. It's like a thousand degrees. May I have a knife and fork, please? There's the knife and fork. Here you go. Delicious. Bon appetit. I love it. Eat more. Okay. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now that looks good. That's good. Hell yeah. Mm hmm Yes. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a mukbang, dude. It's a it's a video online where people eat. That's don't worry about it. I hate that word. <laughs> you don't like mukbang? Oh. <laughs> I think it's a Korean word. The images it conjures up are terrible. <laughs> well, Aaron, you did it. Thanks. You blew me away. You blew me <laughs> away. <laughs> so thank you for joining us on this first of several home editions of the 10 Minute Power Hour. It's gonna be really fun and very stressful because I have so much software and hardware going right now and I constantly am checking on it to see if it's failing and Everything's been going okay so far. And it's right near a lot of fire. Yep. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to keep doing these and come up with other fun things uh, to keep us occupied during the Backstreet Boys tour. And uh, we love you and thank you for supporting us. Thanks for supporting us, everyone. You're, you're all lovely. And we hope that we can make more quality content for you.